Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Chad and this week I have a lot of channel news I want to tell you guys about but I still wanted to give you your video that isn't, you know, 10 minutes long. I like to keep them like five and six minutes if it's at all possible to do. So this week I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip, trick, whatever you want to call it on something that I really struggled with and was the bane of my existence when I started learning Japanese. How to tell the katakana characters apart for she, tsu, so, and n. Mm. Mm. Now for open disclosure, I suck at learning anything and that includes languages. But because I suck so bad, I need to come up with all these brain tricks and things to help me remember all the little subtleties of everything. Because otherwise I would straight up forget it or just not get it at all. And this is one of them that I used all the time when I was in school for Japanese. Let's start with the easy ones, shi and tsu. So if you look at the katakana character for shi, for instance, and tsu, you'll notice that they look incredibly similar. You'll notice that it's on two axes. There's an axis straight up and down, and there's a horizontal axis as well. All you do is trace the axis for both of these, so you'll trace it something like that. And what you'll notice is you just kind of drew the hiragana character for she. And you'll notice the same thing for tsu. If you trace the character's axis, it makes a tsu and hiragana. Just remember to trace the axes, and these two characters will tell you which ones are which. Now the next two are a little bit harder, but you can still remember them pretty easily. If you guys follow so and n, if you follow the axis with it, it'll swoosh like this. And if you remember right, that's the start for the actual hiragana for so. It goes like this, over, that, and down. Hopefully this is getting on camera, otherwise this would be pointless. And for n, it's following on the horizontal axis, so you go down and up like you're gonna do the end. So dun, dun, nah. I'll probably draw it really quick on paper just in case I screw this up. And John, bam, there you go. Get it? Got it? Good. Now the first two are pretty easy to remember, the second two a little less so, but with this trick you should be able to trace them with a pencil or a pen or even your finger and figure out which character is which. And because of that, I'm hoping you guys do significantly better than I did when I was in school without these tricks. I'm gonna cry now. All right, everybody, that's the end of this tip, trick, hint, whatever you want to call it. Real quick, I do have some channel news for you. First up, because I hit 600 subscribers, which by the way, there's not enough time to say thank you enough, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. But since my subscriber base is growing so fast, I decided I'm going to really invest in this channel and grow with it, which is why I just ordered my first brand new DSLR camera. It'll be here probably around December 4th, and the videos henceforth from there will begin to look probably significantly better than this. I also did a 600 subscriber new template that my lyric translation videos are gonna start using from now on. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it this side, why not? This side hasn't been getting a lot of love lately. If you have time and you're interested, please go check it out. Uh, the song's amazing, I love it a lot, but the template took a lot of heart and effort, and I'm really proud of how it turned out, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about the new design that I'm doing. Beyond that, Christmas is upon us, which means I will most likely be doing some Japanese Christmas stuff uh, on your Wednesday video, and then your translation videos most likely will start being Japanese Christmas songs. Just giving you a warning. And set up for the new year, I have a bunch of collabs set up with people from all over the world, not just America and Japan, but in Europe, in Russia, uh, with friends in real life that I know personally. So I'm really looking forward to bringing them in and, and talking to you guys still about Japan and about Japanese culture, but their take on it. Because after all, that's kind of what we do here. That's it for the channel news, but real quick, the winner of this week's giveaway competition thingies right here, probably. Congratulations, thank you so much for subscribing. I will get in contact with you if that's possible. A lot of these channels I'm finding out I'm not able to message for some reason, so I'm so sorry if I don't message you by the time you see this, just comment down below and I'll be sure to figure everything out with you. If you guys are wondering about the giveaway, I do weekly Japanese giveaways. I give away free, it could be manga, Japanese playing cards, calligraphy stuff, book hangers, all sorts of book hangers. Just all sorts of cool stuff. I do it for free. You don't have to pay for anything. All that you have to do to sign up to be entered is just be subscribed to my channel week to week. And every week on Tuesday night, I pick a winner. Beyond that, if you guys like this video, be sure to like it down below. It helps the video get ranked and it helps people see me and it means my channel can grow more. The other thing I'll ask is if you are new to my content, please look at 
a couple other videos, look at my translation videos, look at uh, all the random shenanigans that I put up, and if it's something that you guys would like to see week to week, I ask that you subscribe. Alright, that's it for this week, you guys. Thank you so much. Be kind to one another. Merry holidays, Thanksgiving, etc. And I will see you next week.